2020 has been a challenging year, emphasizing the importance of cyber technologies, practices, policies, and overall knowledge within the field. This is why our first session is mapping the cyber landscape. And our first speaker is no other than Major General Retired Professor Itzik Benisoyan. He is the conference chairman, the conference chairman of the Cyber Week, and he is the director of the Blavatnik ICRC at the Tel Aviv University. In 2011, he was appointed by the Prime Minister to lead a task force that formulated Israel's national cyber policy. The policy transformed Israel to a leading cyber nation. Itzik, the stage is yours. I'm honored to invite you uh, virtually to join us uh, in this, the first Cyber Week online, uh, hosted by the Blavatnik Interdisciplinary Cyber Research Center, by the uh, Yuval Neeman Workshop for Science, Technology, and Security at Tel Aviv University, and by the uh, Israeli National Cyber Directorate and Foreign Ministry of Israel. Uh, we started Cyber Week uh, conferences in uh, 2010, that is 10 years ago, uh, and it gradually became one of the leading international events in that uh, field. Uh, last year, for example, 2019, we hosted more than 9,000 people uh, coming to Tel Aviv from over 80 different countries, uh, some 500 speakers, and unfortunately, we thought, we planned that the, uh, this year, which is the 10th anniversary, we'll, we will celebrate the 10th anniversary of the conference uh, in an even bigger event. But unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to give up this plan, and instead of it, to make this uh, cyber conference this time online. So uh, welcome to the first Cyber Week online at, at Tel Aviv. Uh, today, when we say cybersecurity, everyone understands what we talk about. It's, very di it's unimaginable. It's very difficult to imagine that only 10 years ago, 10 years ago, that's all, uh, this was a term not known to most of the people over the world. Uh, there was, for example, there was not even one university in the world uh, in which you could go and earn a degree in cybersecurity. You could study computer science or uh, computer engineering, but not cybersecurity. And, and today it's different. We are proud, we, I mean Israel, is proud that uh, we were the, one of the first in the world to understand that the dominant technology of uh, the last, let's say, 30 years, 40 years, is computer technology. And that we should take cybersecurity from the hands of intelligence services and defense uh, uh, agencies to take it from their hands to take it from the, uh, behind the law, the walls of secrecy, and in a way to take it out of the closet, to make it open and a legitimate subject for uh, the whole civilian society in every field, because computers became available almost to anything we do in our life, and therefore, we all uh, need protection of the uh, cyber, what we call cybersecurity space, that is the internet, social networks, etc. We've developed computer technology for the sake of uh, society. It's so simple. We, we, would, we need computers and computerized communication in order to make our life faster, more efficient, uh, et cetera, for the benefit of society. But unknowingly, while we do this, we open, we create new weak points. 
uh, because we become more and more dependent on this uh, technology. And once we become more and more dependent on this technology, we open new opportunities for bad guys. And when I say bad guys, it may be criminals, terrorists, uh, hostile states, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, we open more opportunities for them to harm the society and to do something for their own interest and not for the overall benefit of the society. And therefore, we, have, we came to the conclusion in 2010 that we need to have some kind of protecting umbrella over the whole society uh, and not only uh, for the sake of defense or intelligence. Now, this observation uh, leads me directly to the relation between cybersecurity and the COVID-19 pandemic. You may ask, what is, what is the relation? Two different things. Well, one thing is that um, although we don't know when the pandemic will be suppressed and when we will be free again to go to everywhere we want to go, uh, still we understand that certain things will not come back to what they used to be in the past. One of them is the uh, communication between people. We already uh, developed all the means to communicate virtually through cyberspace between societies, people, for business, for everything. But the pandemic boosted, accelerated this phenomenon uh, enormously. We are sure that even if the pandemic will uh, be ended this way or that way, uh, we will uh, be much more dependent and we will use much more computerized communication means uh, than we did before. And therefore, the need to protect the society will be greater, not smaller. Uh, uh, as I said before, uh, it's cyber, security, cyber security is a result of the development of uh, computer technology. And this, the way I put it is that cyber uh, threat really is the dark side of computer technology. If you use, develop and use computers for a positive uh, uh, goal, it, this is the bright side. But like the moon, it has also a dark side. And because we will become more dependent on, on uh, computers communication, uh, the dark side will grow unless we, of course, will suppress it by uh, having more and more secure system and therefore deal more and more with cybersecurity. Now, COVID-19 also re-emphasizes an old lesson which now becomes more and more uh, clear in a way. We knew before that uh, the rate of change of computer technology and therefore of its dark side as well, cybersecurity, uh, is, is too fast in a way that no one can really predict what new threats will emerge, let's say, two, three years from now. We knew it before, but now uh, uh, we learned something. We knew that we couldn't predict uh, uh, new threats, and we thought that uh, therefore the solution is not by predicting the threats and then preparing answer to this, by building the whole ecosystem. And therefore, one has to, when he wants to a uh, healthy cybersecurity system, has to deal with education and with other uh, issues that usually are not considered to be part of technology by itself. But we learned here that even uh, uh, parameters like health, like a virus that no one uh, predicted a year ago, two years ago, can, is also an important aspect that should be taken uh, into this consideration. We didn't know a year ago that this conference will be uh, delivered online. 
We didn't know that because it is delivered online, some uh, uh, bad guys, as I said, can interrupt and, and make damage to this conference. And therefore, uh, until that time, we thought that we have to uh, take into consideration parameters like, like uh, uh, legal issues, business um, uh, considerations, uh, economy, uh, psychological behavior of individuals or of the society, we have to add to this list of variables that may change our uh, uh, technology. Uh, we have to add to this uh, list also variables like uh, pandemic, real pandemic, I mean, and things like this. Overall, the lesson is very simple. I mean, cybersecurity is cybersecurity problems usually are solved by technology. But we tend to forget that the problems are not really technological, or not at least purely technological. If you don't add all these other aspects that I spoke about, you don't really understand the problem, and therefore you will not know what is the right way uh, to look for answers and uh, to look for different ways to, pro to protect yourself. Uh, this is, by the way, is the reason why the uh, ICRC, the, the Blavatnik Interdisciplinary Cyber Research Center, is called interdisciplinary. And we did it uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, because if you don't have all these aspects, you don't really know what uh, uh, are the areas in which you have uh, to put your emphasis on. Uh, and therefore, we have uh, something more than 250 researchers in this uh, center. Two of those come from the hardcore disciplines like uh, computer science, engineering, or mathematics. But one third of them come from uh, school of law, business school, social sciences, and even philosophy. I hope uh, you will enjoy the coming sessions. And what is more important, join us physically in 2021 uh, for the, the Cyber Week, uh, the regular Cyber Week that we already had before. Thank you.